Now, CBS 46 News at 6. We were in the closet, hunkered down. I heard this uh, really loud uh, bang, and I was like, okay, well, the window's gone, but I didn't expect this type of uh, destruction when I came outside. I'm in Murray County, where overnight storms have leveled a mobile home park. It's bad. It hurts. I'll share with you the stories of both hope and also loss that are emerging from this small community. A house ripped from its foundation. We're giving you a look at the damage left behind here in Upson County. A state of emergency is in effect tonight, hours after st a storm system cuts a deadly path through the state. Dozens of homes and businesses are destroyed. At least seven people are dead. We do have team coverage from across the hardest hit areas coming up in less than five minutes. But first, we want to toss things out to Sean Gables, who is live tonight in Atlanta's Kirkwood neighborhood, where severe weather did major damage there. Right, Sean? Absolutely right. Good evening, Rick. I can tell you that I've seen neighbors out here. They're trying to find a sense of normalcy. They're glad no one in this neighborhood was hurt, but the storm system hit Metro Atlanta extremely hard in the middle of the night, a time when people are sleeping and most people are really the most vulnerable. Check out some of the damage from College Park. You see trees on top of cars along with broken glass. Cleaning all of this up is expected to take some time. And it is absolutely gorgeous outside. I think we've earned this gorgeous weather that we're going to see for the next several days because it was a rough night and a rough morning. Uh, all of Georgia really got hammered with strong storms and that happened across most of the southeastern United States. Right now we are dry, no rain, no storms out there and none on the way. The line of showers and storms responsible for that severe weather now well off the Georgia coast into our south over the Florida panhandle. These these are all storm reports from yesterday's storms, and you can see this affected much of the southeastern U.S. This is wind damage reports, hail reports, tornado reports. I'm going to remove all of them except the tornadoes, and you can see all the tornadoes from yesterday across Mississippi, Alabama, and North Georgia. Several reports in northwest Georgia. The National Weather Service went to survey the damage today in Bartow, Upson, and Murray County, and they are still working on those final reports. As of now, Bartow and Murray confirmed tornadoes in all in Georgia. 49 injuries and seven deaths from these storms. So certainly a record breaking day for us uh, here in Georgia. Right now it is gorgeous out there. 72 at the airport, 74 in Buckhead, 69 in Smyrna, 68 right now in Woodstock. Temperatures tonight will be cooler than they were last night. Last night we only dropped down to 60 degrees. Tonight we'll see decreasing clouds. It will be very clear later on today and that will allow those temperatures to drop to the 40s and 50s. Chance of rain is pretty non-existent existent here over the next several days and that is exactly what we want to see a lot of us have a lot of cleanup to do so you want that dry weather and that's exactly what we're going to get tomorrow will be gorgeous lots of sunshine i have 69 degrees tomorrow it is going to be a really amazing day the average high is 72 so we will be slightly below average at least for the next three days by the weekend it warms up a bit speaking of the weekend that's going to be our next chance of rain moving in saturday into sunday uh, as of now, it doesn't look like we'll see anything severe, but of course, it is severe weather season. You can saw how easily things can pop, so we'll be watching that closely. For now, the important thing to know is we have five days of dry weather, so go out and enjoy.